NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV 45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV 45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle on Kennedy Square. Jim Micko and Sons, 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle, can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website, and you can email them at jimmickoandsons at verizon.net, their phone number, 724-652-6911. Proud sponsors of Community Television in Newcastle. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Good morning, Newcastle. Welcome to NCTV 45's News Watch. Morning. Hopefully you have that first cup of coffee. And let's get to the top stories today in Newcastle, PA. Hello, welcome to NCTV 45. And uh, this news brief, for those interested, the planning board tonight was considering uh, the HARB, which is the Historic Architectural Review Board, and um, amending the North Hill District Code so as to adhere to the code for recommendations. Well, that board just met, NCTV 45 was there, and the board has rejected city councils and the city's uh, quest to change that piece of code. Uh, once again, the planning commission that met tonight in a 3-0 vote, I believe it was 3-0, has turned down the city's request to change and amend the North Hill Historic District Code. Now, um, we'll keep you up to date as any other stories break. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Special thanks to Butts. Flowers, gifts, and more in downtown Newcastle for their sport and funding of this program. Butts Flowers, downtown Newcastle. There's more than the eye. Got a gift of a Newcastle I try. Go 
NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. You are watching News Watch, and I am Tanya. I'm here to bring to you, Newcastle, an extremely important event. We need you to rise up and have your voices heard. Now, if you're not aware and you have not been watching, you can always go back to the NCTV website and hear about the YDC building being purchased by Hira Educational Services. They are desiring to put a Muslim school. We are questioning the intentions of that due to the validity of their website and other things that are public knowledge. So if you want to learn more, I'm going to petition you to please come to the Shenango Municipal Building tomorrow, 10 a.m., and that is Thursday tomorrow, <laughs> the 8th, and uh, they're going to be bringing some very important information. You are not allowed to speak at the event, but you can gather information. There is going to be, so stay tuned for further ahead, more events coming up where you will be able to understand more about this event and situation that is taking place. Again, we need Newcastle to come together in Lawrence County and come against this act at this point in time because it is not beneficial for Newcastle. It is not going to allow us to increase and grow in jobs and so on and so forth. But we are going to have you have your own opinion at the Shenango uh, Municipal Building at 10 a.m. tomorrow the 8th. And uh, you can also, if you'd like to join the petition, go to cccwp.us. All right? Now, Back to Edge. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Yes, summer right around the corner and the Y Zone Summer Camp, an amazing camp experience where school age children will build confidence, develop appreciation for community where they live while they enjoy nature walks, fun educational field trips, and many outdoor team uh, building and physical activities. Camp activities will include swimming, field trips, art and crafts, nature hikes, sports, educational activities, and more. This is located at the Y Zone in the Shannon Township and Camp Hours are 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So um, make sure you stop out there. Now the downtown summer child care will be a fun-filled program. Also available at the Y. And they have expanded hours downtown from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. It will be located at the downtown branch. You know, you got to check out the Y for all these fun, great activities. And uh, the Y Zone has been a sports club. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. It's time for, yes, you got it, the Cedars Sports Corner. And, uh, you know, as much as I've been dismissing those buckos, and uh, saying, geez, oh man, guess what? 
The Buccos have been playing some great baseball. Not always great, but great enough to be in the race. Yeah, checking the other day, three games out. You know, we're not getting blown out of the ballpark. So, um, how's it look today? Well, Miami's at Pittsburgh. And uh, let's go Bucks. Now, elsewhere, you've got Cleveland, and they are taking the day off. I double-checked my monitor. St. Louis is at Cincinnati. The Angels at Detroit. Yeah, Chicago White Sox, they're taking on Tampa Bay. And um, the Twinkies, they're taking on Seattle. Now, over in the NBA, you know, the series goes on. They're taking a break today, and they won't be in action until Friday when Cleveland will be at home. Now, over in the NHL, as the monitor comes changing a little slow, but slow's better than never. And you can see I'm saving the, the shirt for tonight because tonight it's Nashville at the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yes, let's go, Pens. I saved the best for last. And that was the Cedar Sports Corner. Go to Cedars, get some wings, get some great food, and we're going to be back right after this. Funding for this program furnished by Big Pauly Sports Bar, Long Avenue, Newcastle. Now in some state news, and this is relevant with the areas of Lawrence County that have become overgrown. Pennsylvanians are urged to vaccinate pets and take precautions against rabies. Yes, as Pennsylvanians enjoy outdoor activities across the Keystone State, Agricultural Secretary Russell Redding today offered a series of tips to reduce the threat of rabies, such as vaccinating pets and staying clear of wild animals. Rabies is a year-round threat to human safety as well as our pets and livestock, but warmer months bring greater potential for encounters with wildlife and other uh, that can harbor the disease, said Secretary Redding. By avoiding contact with wild mammals and vaccinating your dogs and cats for rabies, you and your family can stay safe. Rabies is a vir viral disease that affects uh, the nervous system of mammals, including humans, and is nearly always fatal. The incubation period for rabies in humans is usually three to eight weeks but can be as short as one week and as long as nine years. It's never too late to seek medical attention for potential rabies exposure. Exposure uh, to a rabies virus can occur in multiple ways. A direct bite from a contagious rabbit mammal, a scratch, from a rabid mammal that breaks the skin, saliva, or uh, tissues from contagious uh, rabid animals containing an open wound, break in the skin, or saliva or tissue from a contagious rabid animal containing mucus membranes such as eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash, bite, or scratch immediately with soap and water and reduce the risk of rabies significantly. Okay, if you encounter an animal and you suspect they have rabies, contact your local police 
our game commission office, your regional uh, Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture office can assist you in safely preparing and submitting the animal for testing. Okay, and uh, remember, if you're exposed to rabies, seek medical attention immediately. Now, that in from the state of Pennsylvania. We're going to take this break, and we'll be right back. Today's program was paid for by a grant from Pegley's Pasta and More, East Washington Street in Newcastle. Welcome back to Newswatch, and I am Tanya. I'm bringing you actually a news release from our senator. So on June 5th, the senator has uh, approved the legislation reforming Pennsylvania's two largest public pension systems, the Public School Employees Retirement System, as well as the State Employees Retirement System. So again, they have been approved. All right, well, this is Tanya, Newswatch, and here's a word from one of our sponsors. Programming provided through funding from Daimyo and Olson Law Group with offices in Elwood City and in Newcastle in the Washington Center. Daimyo and Olson Law Group. Funding provided by Four Brothers, Four Brothers in downtown Newcastle. NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Hello and welcome to Four Brothers 45 Weather. Well, after last night's mostly cloudy low of 50, how is your Thursday looking? Partly sunny, high of 72, chance of rain only 20%. Now Friday night, partly cloudy low of 50, chance of rain remains at 20%. Then we swing into, yeah, you got it, Friday, last day of school, Everybody's going to be happy, and you're going to be happy with this one. Mostly sunny, high of 76. Winds will be calm, and it'll be a picture-perfect day, so get out and have a good time. Kiddos will be all happy. Now, Friday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 57. Chance of rain, only 20%. As you swing into Saturday, mostly sunny, a high of 80. Great day to hit the pool, hit the links, or just work around the garden. Now, Saturday night, partly cloudy, low 61. Sunday, yes, sunny with a high of 87. Great day to get outside. Now, Sunday night, mostly clear, low of 64. And as some of you start back to week, work, week, work, this is what you're going to get. Mostly sunny on Monday, a high of 89, yes, Kiddos are home and the temperature's going up. Now, Monday night, mostly clear, low 66. And then Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high of 89. Now, that was Four Brothers 45 weather. Better get the lemonade out and uh, make sure you got a lot of water. The kiddos will be coming in for those drinks. Now, we're going to be right back after we take this break. This program paid for by a grant from RNA Screen Printing, located at 1217 Moravia Street, Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. NCTV 45, the train. Anytime on your time. A 
A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program. The Penn State Master Gardener Series. You might remember them from our Focus NC. Well, this season they've announced that if you have any questions on those green plants, they have the answers. A variety of topics including growing vegetables, fruits, ornamentals, turf grass, plant identification, pruning, insect and disease problems. Advice encourages the use of integrated pest management and environmentally sound practices. To help identification and diagnostic of plant and insect specimens can be brought to the Lawrence County Extension Office located on the third floor of the courthouse during hotline hours. The Master Gardener Series hotline, which will now be open for the season, is their schedule is this. Master Gardeners will be on duty Monday from 9 a.m. till noon, Tuesday and Wednesday from 1 to 4, and from 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. Check that, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday. Please call the hotline number at 724-654-8370 and um, have a great growing season. Now, we're going to take this break, and we'll be right back. NC TV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Welcome back. Now that's going to do it for this edition of News Watch. Morning News Watch, Sunrise News Watch, coming at you bright and early. You know, there's one thing that you've been doing that's been utterly fantastic as we've had another record-breaking month. You've been telling a friend about NCTV 45. You've been donating using the donate button on our website and you've been going to those great sponsors. For all of that I say thanks. And one other thing Tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again later on. Don't stand in the glory